boys, girls, women, gentlemen, everybody, whatever you are, whoever you are, we are back here. Xander joining me here for the stream. We started off with a great one. SSG moved on, but now we get two completely different teams because it is the draw after all. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I mean, uh, Schnauz and Heiser took it to game five against Shop or not Shop by Rebellion. Sorry. Uh, Space Station. Uh, Space Station did what Space Station does, pulled it out. And now on to uh, a complete redraw, new matchups. It's not a real, not a normal bracket. So it's completely random and very exciting. And here we go. And some familiar game faces for you as well as the PA couldn't make me out because the PA system was way more important here, but we have <laughs> ourselves game number one, Boulevard in blue and Shopify in orange. Boulevard, former Charlotte Phoenix as well. So we got both former Charlotte Phoenix teams <laughs> in here. Although ZPS was not part of that team, we saw ZPS plenty of times. We know the talent, his ability to hit double touches, his ability to defend, I think more importantly, which is why he makes this Boulevard roster so stacked. Yeah, Alraz, Delta, two very familiar names for me, uh, having casted them when they were back on the Charlotte Phoenix, and a great addition of ZPS in making this team uh, qualify for the round of eight here, moving forward. So just one series, this series away from the cash, the money line, all that stands between them is Shopify Rebellion and vice versa. So no scores to speak of a minute into game number one both teams feeling each other out certainly opportunities abound as the offense from the rebellion starting to hum but the defense from the boulevard doing the same on the opposite end they are they are locked in ready it's a lot like what we saw to kick off the first series that we saw but here in the quarterfinals this means it's a money game you get that nice little paycheck there if you make it to the next round. So I think obviously teams after that, and you'll see a whole lot more uh, sweaty lobbies maybe as if they didn't take the first game serious. I'm sure they did, but <laughs> this match just brings whole different implications. One of my favorite words, you know that. Of course. Two piece takes his shot again, locked down from this defense. This Delta will try to send it out to ZPS and does. Great job to connect there at midfield. And the outlet passes continue to strengthen. No follow up though. So letting uh, Shopify defense collect that one in the back corner. And maybe just enough here from ZPS to put this one in the right corner. Alraz and Delta opportunities. ZPS gonna rotate back around. He's got two to beat. Memory and two piece. Going to stop that one in its tracks. Now Parth up against Delta. Memory to the corner. And Shopify Rebellion has weathered the transition from Boulevard. They have back on it as well as memory. Try it with that challenge. Delta on it though, and nobody can get back Ooh. to that one. So after the strength was defense, we talked defense, defense, defense. <laughs> and then a breakdown as they got a little bit too far forward. Looks like two piece just got beat to it by Delta, and Parth was able to return uh, back to make a save. Those are tricky ones to read, right? Off the ceiling, it's a clear, but it ping directly back down to the field and uh just right place right time obviously a good read to get that one and now with the first goal of the game first goal of the match boulevard set the tone here two minutes left to go in game number one now continuing the offense as parth needing to swat this one out here at midfield now two piece gonna send this one to the top of the goal but delta on the back wall to punch it over to ZPS. A great shot transition from Alraz and ZPS to follow it up. The waterfall, two piece. This one is an assault on the crossbar. And ZPS will play it off ceiling to try and get it as a short pass to a teammate there, knowing that nobody was downfield. You wanted to kind of play backwards. Now you could find a teammate. It's a smart play to keep possession here from Boulevard. And they've been doing that the entire time. Space opens up. Delta took a shot, but Barth was ready for it. What a save, what a reaction. And SR keeping it within one, but it's Boulevard who's really had a majority of the pressure, majority of the shots, and continue to free up space using their mechanics. It's been impressive to watch. Yeah, that shot from Delta was an absolute bullet. So Shopify able to keep it within one, really uh, quite the opportunity for them. But now they're on offense here as Alrez has to get up for it. 
using a lot of that boost gonna hang out on the back wall for any follow-up offense and this one's another long ball back to parth oh just barely missing the bump and parth is gonna get a little nice 1v1 against alraz alraz responds really nicely to punch that one up in the air and they've avoided disaster here late in game number one 40 seconds left to go and there's the comfort goal from boulevard two to zero 36 seconds left to go delta just popped that up to midfield it felt like he knew that cps was waiting on the sidewall and that all that they could do on the other end was just tap it right over to him so there wasn't many options there available from shopify at all and boulevard took away anything they had Delta looking comfortable here with his whoop reset attempt, but ZPS will be beat to it. So Shopify down, running out of time in game number one. As chat seemed to curse them in this one if they're not able to come back. <laughs> yes, I saw it. I read chat. Guys, this is a community stream. <laughs> We're hanging out. We're chilling with you all. Having a good time. A lot of familiar faces here as well. I know I, we've covered Alraz and Delta quite a bit. So good to see you, but Shopify going to keep it close here. Game one. They've got the lead in half here with a little bit of time left. There's a chance, Bear. There's a chance. Shopify could send this to overtime with a beautiful kickoff. See if Boulevard's able to slow this one down and let the clock elapse. This is going to be a great timing. Oh, right off the ceiling. Spikes it down as the clock hits zero. That's going to be a win for Boulevard. Up 1-0 in the series. Yes, they are. So... Shopify were piecing it together a little bit later in that game number one, but it took them way too long to get things going, it felt like. Luckily for them, it's the best of five, obviously, so they got time. Um, they can breathe a little bit more, too. I thought they started piecing it together. Their defense broke down a couple of times, and they got scored on a couple of times. So if Shopify is able to shut down defensively this Boulevard team, they should have a decent shot. I think one of the things they have to focus on is typically that back wall defense so if boulevard can kind of get ahead of that i think they give themselves the best opportunity to uh to really come back in and make it a battle here yeah i mean there's no shortage of uh, offensive opportunities for the rebellion um it just fell into the hands of you know it's got a game's got to go one way or the other and in this case it fell into um the boulevard's lap right um i think that as close as these teams seem you know one point game um in game number one that this one also could go the distance depending on whether or not the rebellion can rally here and parth with an opportunity 1v1 against delta but delta with the brick wall yeah he was ready off the bat that's one thing you can't really do is catch this team by surprise not very often at least as they tried to though shopify was on it pretty early and that's what you want to see from a team who just surrendered to game number one when it seems like in a lot of experts eyes this should be an easy route that is an excellent play you don't see this very frequently you've seen it a little bit more often in 3v3 situations with that jump out in front when one defender is left to get the bump that is definitely the play in that situation there's basically nothing you can do yeah that's that was almost like identical from the initial kickoff. It was Parth again with the 1v1. And this time didn't have Delta to contend with. It was Alraz and played that so beautifully. And you're right, it doesn't happen all that often in 3v3s, but 1v1s, you get set up like that on the field. Oh my gosh, Alraz sneaking it by two players of the Rebellion. Let's take another look here. Off of Delta's nose, Parth and Tupi's trying to get there, and it couldn't have squeezed by in a tighter spot in the top left corner. What a shot. That's all about repetition, repetition, boys. We played that, we played together so often. Our chemistry is together. I can find that pass and put it directly where you need it, Alraz, and Delta did. Perfect pass from him, and then Alraz to split the two defenders. Yeah, that shot couldn't be more perfectly placed where it made it awkward for Shopify to make that save. And now look, look at out. that crafty touch. Oh, we put it on the goal line, but they weren't able to finish. I thought Parth had that one for a second. Yeah, such a good uh, demo of the goalie, right? Uh, to give themselves that opportunity, but really just wasn't able to get the momentum off of that sort of backswing, back bumper. And it just sat on the goal line, gave the defense enough time to get around to it. We stayed tied with one. 
also G League just took game one against Furia, by the way, in case you're on this channel. Interesting. So on the Vodable channel is where you can find that one. So Furia drops one to G League. That's how strong that team can be. But meanwhile, in this one, equalized. Delta looking for, this time it was ZPS on the far side. As two piece tries to adjust to get back to that one, but it was nothing doing. ZPS allowed the chance to clear, and Delta presses that forward too. Well, for Shopify Rebellion, that one is off the mark, so they'll have an opportunity in transition, and they will find it. Wow. Let's take another look and see how this defense broke down. They were just a little bit of an awkward 50 50 off of Delta, and it gave two piece the breakaway against Alraz and ZPS. Now, with the lead, three minutes left to go here in game two. They have kept their composure through the adversity of game number one and find themselves in the lead. Still lots of Rocket League left to go here in game number two, though. So, Boulevard, plenty of time to respond, but they're running out of goals here as Shopify now with a two-goal lead. Yeah, two-piece was just waiting, and even though it was Boulevard, I believe victorious of the demo situation there, it's still... You know, you found, find that little soft spot between the Boulevard defense, and they've been struggling to try and read those plays. I know it's very difficult to try to get on it, but, you know, you see a pattern starting to emerge where you know, they're doing a better job of locating the defense and playing around them. Little tiny touches like that we just saw towards the back of the box that's been really giving Boulevard a challenge here. Yeah, we almost saw Shopify jump out to a 4-1 lead. Back-to-back -back goals to not only take the lead, but get that comfort goal. And it was almost a really big comfort. Now Parth with the demo. Back-to-back -back demos there, trading them out. The 2v2 for just a moment, but Memory punching this one out as ZPS then to the corner. Oh my gosh, he almost snuck it under the crossbar. That would have been absolutely insane. Little 1v, uh, 1v2 situation, the solo take. They're back they on. stay behind too. It's incredible how they just follow up one another, and continue with it. Parth left this one pretty empty, and oh. Delta wasn't able to connect there. Not sure if he was leaving it for Alrans, but either way, neither of them were able to get to it because of it. And now the demo, you would think it would be open there, but Boulevard was somehow able to recover there. That must have had a good spawning place, but Delta right back at it. He tried far side. It was the only place he could get to it where the defense couldn't. This one will go all the way across the pitch. Oh. I assume ZPS is going to challenge there, but I guess he's assumed he was beat, and then they both just left it to come back here in midfield off the wall. Nobody's uh, taken that one, but we're still at a 3-1 score line. Minute left to go here, game number two. Delta, nice defense there. ZPS going to follow it up, but two-piece collecting this one, the great body there for two piece to get the freebie yeah, watch as they just place it right behind Alraz. Alraz was cheating up a little bit and Parth recognized that and Alraz his mechanics can allow him to adjust to get to that ball and defend throw it back down the pitch but because he was cheating up trying to get a little aggressive trying to you know beat that two goal deficit what you end up doing is finding Parth and his ability to find those bumps and demos so this is exactly the response that Shopify Rebellion needed. They came out, you know, basically gave away game number one, where Boulevard was able to take advantage of that, but they were able to bite back here and feeling pretty good about where they are. But this one is loose out in the box, and Delta takes a shot and will pull it back within two with 26, so still an opportunity here. Okay. 26 seconds left, obviously down two. But I've seen crazier things. Oh, yeah. Especially with this team. Right? With Delta and Alraz. And their combination. The passing we saw even earlier in this game is pretty stacked. And something you have to continue to watch out for. Also, ZPS in the air. Which is going to initiate this opportunity in the offensive zone. But Parth will eventually leave it for memory. And he's trying to play it out, but he couldn't. It's two piece right back on it. He will send it. Just now, trying to kill enough time, and I think that's going to do it here as Memory, sure enough, will tap that one in as they were full court commit at that point, and Shopify will even the series here, Xander. Yeah, huge bounce back from Shopify. You know, they didn't win by, or didn't lose by much there in game number one, 
And as I've said before earlier in the stream, you don't need a lot of goals to win games. Just got to win by one, have one more than the other team. Boulevard able to do that in game number one. Shopify coming alive in game number two. Now with a 5-2 scoreline to, you know, it's not, you've, you've won at 3-2. You're sending a message at 4-2. And now you're really trying to uh, send them down <laughs> into uh, some sort of despair pit by making it 5-2. Great job, actually 5-3. Great job from the Rebellion. Yeah, it certainly was. A little equalize here. Boulevard did make a pretty solid save there at the end. So does that build confidence? It's tough to say. I mean, does this team really need to build back confidence? Their game one was pretty solid. Yeah, you got bested here, but you started off strong, you ended strong. You know the mission ahead of you, which is just, you know, a full five minutes. So... That's what you're looking for here is a little bit more consistency from Boulevard. It's always been something that they've been striving for. I think they've, I would argue at least, that they've done a good job to find way more consistency than they've had in the past, which is also a good sign. I mean, Delta, they were in the conversation, um, you know, recently as maybe a team that reaches Invitationals, which they have, and even play at LAN, which is crazy. I've always rooted for these boys uh, to make it that far. So to see them that close and continuing to build upon themselves and challenge these top teams is something that's always so refreshing to me. Yeah, so for game number three moving forward, you know, now obviously they're back squared even. Um, first to three wins, right? So they either team only needs two more. So to respond, Boulevard, I think, needs to take a little bit of those 1v1 opportunities away from Parth. He showed up incredibly well using his uh, his car to force goals through, not even in just 1v1 situations, but in team situations. They were allowing themselves to get bodied a little bit, um, and it gave opportunities to the Rebellion to to punch a couple through. Yeah, they... So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. But that... Uh, I want to say defense wins games, but in this case, it was the uh, physicality that won game number three for the or game number two for the rebellion. Um, so we'll see how, how things develop here as we move forward. I'm excited that we've got a couple. We've drawn a couple of the really close matchups so far. We already had a game five in uh, in round number one. So the fact that we're still tied up after two games so far, excellent. Definitely good to see. No doubt about it. Well, the lobby decided to kick us out, but we're going to join back in here momentarily. That's all right. Look, they're going to win or lose the game. Uh, the game will go on with or without us. We're just here <laughs> to have a good time. Yeah, honestly, like, what are they even doing inviting us here? Honestly, they should just <laughs> should just go with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't actually do that if you're in here. <laughs> we're coming, I promise. Um, but yeah, Shopify, like we said, exactly the answer they needed. And now the... Uh, try to build on it, right? To jump to match point was important for Space Station. That's one of the reasons they were able to hold off in the last series that we were able to see. Can they continue to do it? Let's find out. We're about to head to the pitch now as we continue on. Game number three. This gives you the match point if you win this series. This is what you're after here, after all. We'll see who can get it done. Yeah, and just for a reminder for everybody watching, this is the money line, right? Win, you're in the cash, lose all that you've worked for is for not <laughs> all you've worked for is just a lobby that'll work for once i'm just kidding all right well Carol, i will get it done <laughs> listen on that one rocket league twice so um it happens so no no name tags in the lobby was what was happening here so we, we give you a little sneak peek behind the scenes as far as what's going on there let's get a look at our beautiful faces for the moment Aren't we though? Oh, we vamp, you know? Shucks, man. Who casters do? You just vamp. You butter me up so well. Love it. Yeah, it's uh it's a bug they're currently working on, but listen, we're we're gonna be good to go. So we go to Wasteland for game number three. Boulevard and ZPS. Have you been impressed with that uh with that acquisition? I know it used to be Beast of Bonium back when you were here. Uh ZPS adds a little bit more value in your opinion. It's that's hard to say because beast of bonium really was a momentum player right like if things were going the way of the charlotte phoenix back when he was on that team there it seemed like there was no mountain they couldn't climb and it that was 
really what made that team special to watch with Alraz and Delta on that squad. Beast of Bonium really rounded them out to give them incredible opportunities. That being said, it also went the other way, right? Um, where if things were going a little bit south, then it really was, uh, you know, a, a really tough go of it. So really cool to see the addition of ZPS to this squad of Delta and Alraz because I've seen some things that Beast of Bonium just didn't bring to the table as, as uh, the, you know, with his particular skill set, skill set and uh, ZPS doing some really incredible stuff so far today. And they're here for a reason, right? They're in the round of eight. He's beat out every other team, not every other team, but you know, they've, they've gotten this far. So doing something right. Absolutely. It's impressive to you get to this level now we talk about Shopify Rebellion they weren't one of those four invited teams no but they are definitely part of that conversation right they're very close to reaching that aspect they definitely are that RLCS level so you know, for Boulevard uh, definitely a good sign it's not like they haven't been here but you know matching it up here to go through all the quals for both of these teams feels good but for Boulevard maybe feels a little bit better because of it and I think they just go up and up with ZPS. I, I'm with you there. I thought, you know, Bisabonium had his strengths with his squad, especially with the chemistry that they did have. But ZPS has looked a little bit stronger as of late. All right, now Shopify has been looking stronger. These two teams in the last couple as they yep. kick off the first minute with the first goal. 100% early, nice goal from Shopify. Uh, pretty open net from that replay that we saw. And the momentum and tempo seems to be set by Shopify at the moment. CPS with a nice save there. And this one might be going the other way. Parth couldn't get back in time. Boulevard tie it up. And that was a touchback down. Could have been a shot one way. In fact, it would count as one. Didn't really look like it though, but yeah, a bit of a mistake there defensively. We weren't able to get the touch they wanted. Instead, it went into their own net. So it's not very common to see a goal go in at this level from all the way in the other box. Now, Delta right back at it, though. Try the what reset almost snuck that one into, by the way. Impressive work from both of these teams. And yeah, Memory just, instead of knocking it away, popped it up, just giving it the extra juice it needed to uh, get to the net. And now a blistering shot off the crossbar. ZPS with a follow-up. No. Delta just narrowly to the right post. They cannot seal the deal there. Three minutes, 30 seconds. We're still tied. Now we're going the other way. And Boulevard, they apparently took the closest exit to the Boulevard. <laughs> the ZPS went left, Delta went completely right. And if you just got a shot, one shot on target there, that should have been a goal for sure for Boulevard. But you just got to brush it off. As Alraz will play forward, try to find a teammate here. Definitely not the cleanest start in this game number three. Perhaps maybe it was the server issues we were having that uh, kind of threw him off kilter a little bit maybe. Sure, server issues, yes. Sure you didn't just click leave game, right? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Thousand percent. Oh, yeah. Two pieces on this one. Now Raz does challenge in time there in the corner. I don't think Delta can get to that. No, it's memory that cuts him off. And now he's got part behind him. So he's going to slow play it instead. Does beat one. Got the shot off, but it was a little bit high. Looks like there was a member of Boulevard back anyways to make that save in case it did go over their heads. I like playing that slow, right? I mean, you can continue with the pace that the entire match has been going, but if you take the opportunity to maybe just, even if just sitting in the corner with the ball gives the impression that you've got something cooking, you plant the seed of doubt in Boulevard's head, right? Especially with Parth right behind him to follow up for any additional shots. Unfortunately, memory touch just a little bit high on that effort. Um, but still, I like not clearing, 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 going back and forth. You take the time to, to manage your your possession just for a bit longer. And it may be having a beneficial results, but an opportunity for Parth and Alraz with a great save. Now this one just dancing around Boulevard's net, but nothing going through now. A 50-50 here in midfield. They're going to slow it down. Delta's going to go for the bump, and it is enough. To get that one through for Boulevard. Now with the lead, a minute 24 seconds left. Parth and memory. I mean, where were they? All the way back. Nobody <laughs> in rotation. 
anytime you see a 2v1 scenario in like a true 2v1, not just like a somebody's trying to recover, but that was a true like 2v1 situation, of course they're gonna go for the bump. And even if you don't land it, like Two Piece was able to do, or like Two Piece was able to avoid it, he still couldn't get out of the way. He couldn't get that one to land either, so Boulevard still enjoys this 2-1 lead. But another shot, Alraz. In that recovery save, he was able to get back to you and another one just high. Memory off the crossbar. The biggest enemy of Shopify Rebellion is got to be that crossbar. He did it twice or three times there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, man. And that's not to say that it was there weren't incredible defensive saves from the Boulevard <laughs> squad, but... <laughs> The fourth member on the Boulevard's team, the crossbar, making just as many as the rest of the team. Made another one there while you were mentioning it. <laughs> uh, ZPS back down. Oh, that's a good transition pass, and nobody oh, back again. Oh. They catch him sleeping, and down the Boulevard they go. It's 3-1. And that's the second goal in a row that's kind of been a breakaway opportunity. ZPS just lasers that one through memory, can't get back in time. And that's twice Shopify has been a little bit out of position. CPS luckily back for that one, so no damage done here for the Team Boulevard. Rebellion, 20 seconds left to put two on the board. Delta has got it in his hands. Two piece again left by himself. And that was the moral of this story. Here in game number three, the Boulevard Trying to hold off. It will be official now. So they will go up to match point. And Shopify had all the opportunities in the world and just couldn't land it. It just seemed like they made too many mistakes. Their shots could have been on point. And we were talking about Boulevard being the same way early in this game. It was actually the Shopify Rebellion team that uh, fell victim to that late. And one of the reasons why they are going to be match point against. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It, it the, the numbers don't lie, right? Boulevard with 10 saves on the board, Shopify Rebellion with two. The assault on, I mean, their offense, the Rebellion were putting shots on goal, right? And the defense was holding strong, obviously a couple little bit off the mark, but it doesn't, you know, you don't get those numbers for saves if it hits a different part of the goal, right? You, you, you need to actually make a touch on it. And Boulevard just played great defense in game three, and that's really what the difference maker was. Absolutely. So they had to match point now. Shopify Rebellion, whose fans maybe not as confident as they were when they were saying, oh, easy sweep here. So they do have to worry about this team. That's been excellent. Five minutes on the clock. The chance to close out now for Boulevard. As I don't know how the scores got backwards or back reverted to where we were, but we'll update that for you. It is 2-1 if you're just joining us in favor of Team Boulevard. Now Tempo, ZPS on an island with Memory. Delta going to punch this one back to the corner. Memory once again, really doing a great job controlling that corner. Doesn't quite waterfall down. ZPS can't get a good touch on it. Now challenged by Memory at midfield. Oh, two-piece coming through, but it's again a little high. And again, the, uh, the, the high shots threatening but not quite landing for the rebellion that's got to be a little bit frustrating for memory who had every opportunity to take that shot by himself instead was called off it by two piece and the shot wasn't just like a laser and just a little bit off it was you know no, no velocity and well off so <laughs> it's uh tough pill to swallow but they do have him in a compromising position but zps able to step across make a big save memory another shot though barring oh. Just snuck that one in, bent around that sidebar, and gives Shopify Rebellion finally some post luck in a 1-0 lead. Wow, yeah, that's one of the hardest shots to block, right? I mean, it's already not uh, like in the middle of the goal. Those are those are a little bit easier. Um, if it's sneaking by the post, that means it narrowly got pushed away, but it just pushed in the way of the goal. Goal got in the way. Now Shopify with a second one on the board. My goodness, Bear. Shopify starting to figure things out. They've decided to stop shooting high to start shooting at the net. It's working. It certainly is. They look like a different team here in game four. It will be 
Bit of a comfortable lead. This is definitely the biggest lead we've seen Shopify have all series long. Credit to Boulevard for being pesky. Not allowing that to happen. As Delta leaves this one for Alraz. Now we'll jump out. A flip reset fake there from him momentarily, but this one will pop high. And Delta left with a chance. Almost got that read. Still following up his ZPS, but he didn't have anywhere to go and no boost in the tank. Except for to demo two-piece there and leave it back for Alraz. And Shopify Rebellion left running in circles. The shot there as well. Even though it's a double commit, it did just enough to relieve pressure where they can get back in rotation. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't feel too bad about double committing. They punched it out just enough to sort of reset, right? Boulevard was putting together some really nice offense. Now you've got an air opportunity with Parth. Just going to cut that one off before it really is threatening the net at all. But Alraz coming through, just barely punched away by two-piece. And Shopify Rebellion stays ahead two to zero. And we're at halftime here in game number four. They need this one to get back in the series to take it to game five. And they're doing everything right right now to do just that. Two beasts with that recovery save two. Alraz back on it, but that shot was on target. Memory was credited with that save. But not incredibly threatening as Parth was able to jump out as well. He's got a little bit of room to work with. That one will launch off the hood of Delta right into the hands of this Shopify Rebellion. A two piece wasn't able to handle business, so it'll be Parth left up to him to try and settle and move forward. And the flip reset was able to push past Delta, but Alraz there in support. And Boulevard will get out to center, but they haven't been able to get much farther than that. I mean, Shopify been trying to keep this offensive pressure on keep this ball away from their goal because all they have to do at this point wind down that clock right they can they can allow one goal through but every time they punch it far away burning seconds off the clock right just over a minute left here in the game they've got that nice two goal buffer and man when you're staring at that goose egg like boulevard is it's it's tough to visualize getting that first goal but they're doing so much to try and keep that pressure up. But everything seems to be shut down at midfield here for the Rebellion. A little bit of physicality here from Delta, though. Take down Parth. He's been a big reason this defense has held so strong for the Rebellion in this game. And it's been quite the effort for Shopify to keep this lead. Parth will look to maybe expand on it. He's got the flip reset in ZPS left challenging late. They do. Parth finds it. 37 seconds left. We're already gearing up for a, a, a game five here. As Parth was just able to buy time, flip reset, and they were launching across the net to try to make that save, which made it even more difficult, in my opinion. 30 seconds left. Now Shopify. Looking to just kill more. They've done a great job, like you mentioned, to just play the way they've been playing. That's made them get here in the first place. A 4-0 lead here just because Boulevard hasn't been able to leave their own ends. And if they have, they've been red and it push it directly back into the zone. So it'll be Boulevard's uh Boulevard's cards in hand. They have they had match point, they had Shopify where they needed them, and now it's suddenly a, a game five. And in those pressure situations, we've seen them perform before. But they'll have to do it again here in a situation to try and get into the money uh, top four. Yeah, and it's crazy because if you're... It, I'm not sure which team I'd rather be going into the game five at this point, right? They've been trading games back and forth. First Boulevard with the lead, then the, the tie from the Rebellion, then Boulevard with match point. Now Rebellion tying it up at match point. Rebellion obviously going in with some momentum based off of the win that they had here. In this game, only, I mean, plenty of shots on the board for Boulevard, actually 10 to speak of, but the defense from two piece, five saves across the board, doing a really nice job. Um, so Boulevard, obviously, if they've been the ones that have been breaking those ties and continuing to punch up in the lead, this is the time to do it. It doesn't matter when you got those first games, right? Your tie, it's a best of one at this point, essentially. 
Um, Rebellion going in with the momentum uh, coming off of the tie tying win to take us to two to two. But Boulevard, I mean, they've been playing some great games. This is going to come down to the wire. It's going to be a game five. We hit Neo Tokyo for the first time for us here today. Second time here for us today. A best, I mean, how did we get the matches that have been absolutely bangers? And also, yeah. also, Two Piece was somebody I was absolutely harping on for mistakes early. So to see him bounce back like that to force the game five, even more exciting for us here on this channel. Insane stuff. And yeah, we'll take a look around the uh, the block for other matches. Already have two three O's. There's one other match going on simultaneously. We've got. One, whether or not Furio wins this, their game four, could have the only game five here in the round of eight. Exciting stuff. Oh, man. Dead even. ZPS looks for Delta. That one shut down by two piece. Left from memory. And a look in transition as Alraz forced to just kind of fall back in defense. But it'll be supported nicely by ZPS, who will challenge the back wall. Easily read by two piece. Finds memory down the field. Tell us something they've drawn up before, looking for one another. As TPS needs to get a touch here, ZPS and Alraz both waiting in the waters here at the top of the box, and Parth is able to shut them down too. And now back out, but beat to it by Alraz. Luckily, Memory back on it here for Shopify Rebellion as well. This one to the corner. TPS tries to challenge, and Delta from an awkward position. Didn't have a lot of boost either, but is still able to make a save. But now back on it, ZPS scrambling, but somehow they're able to keep it away. And now two piece right back on it. Shopify Rebellion quick, and now it's memory to put it away for the first goal of game five. Shopify Rebellion on top. Wow. I mean, we were following Delta that entire transition uh, or the entire sequence, and he was just playing scrappy defense, no real boost to speak of. And just getting in the way, playing really good defense, but it was only so long you could keep that up without getting a huge clear, recovering some boosts, and eventually Shopify Rebellion able to get one. And now with the lead here in oh. game number five, and wow, why not follow it up? You go have yourselves a day, Rebellion Parth, with the second goal of the game. Yeah, memory again. Just jumped out for ZPS. ZPS was the only one there. And, you know, Delta and Alraz have played together a long time. To see them double commit like that was, you know, something they were trying to clean up early in their history together. And I thought they did a great job to do just that. And then, unfortunately, that was an example of what we've seen before. And they're just able to take advantage of it, right? ZPS left by himself. And that's how Shopify enjoys this 2-0 lead. As 2 piece almost got that next touch as well, but Delta able to play it sideways. It should be Delta again. He'll find Alraz. They'll clear the zone. Chava 5 have been playing a, a much, uh, I think, better defense. They're not really allowing those breakaway points that Boulevard uh, was really getting in some of those early games. And because of that, no easy goals for Boulevard. They're making Boulevard work for every inch of this field. And it's it's setting the tone for the kind of Rocket League that they want to be playing in this match and in this uh, in this tournament, right? No doubt. Feels a lot better than where they were just two games ago whenever they were down 2-1 <laughs> yeah. in the series and trying to figure out what was going on. But ZPS had that opportunity again. Now look out in transition. Delta the last one back. He's going to be in a tough spot, Parth. Another one. 3-0 Shopify Rebellion. Three shots, two goals for Parth. That's a good stat line, right? Good success rate on attacking the net. Two minutes left to go. Boulevard in trouble, needing something on the board. And it can come off these kickoffs. But no, Alraz gets one over to ZPS. He's going to be a little bit awkward in the corner. Now Delta stealing this one away. A beautiful left side of the goal. A stinger along the ground to pull back within two. The Delta just saw two piece and banked it off of him. Said, <laughs> I know how to play angles, right? Just toss it down towards the ground and have the momentum just carry it there on the grounds. And at least you're back within two now. 
That quick answer, absolutely what you need. And maybe another one here. ZP, yes, that angle couldn't quite find it. A Delta finds Alrath right there as well. A chance for the double, but it was a little bit too high. So great thinking here. They're finding one another in passing. Just weren't able to get that first one. CPS, he can't get to it. No. Oh, he was looking to adjust, but couldn't quite get back in time. And they're down by three again. Was the bump here from memory again? I couldn't quite tell. And he just couldn't quite cross the goal line before the ball did. And maybe even if memory didn't get the contact, just getting ZPS out of the way to dodge the, uh, the bump was enough. Shopify now a three goal lead here. Just over a minute left. Parth on the attack again. Looking to keep them on their heels. It's the last place you want to be when you're down by three. As Alrez will tap this down. Delta, he did get that flip, but he used it as a fake to try to let Alrez take a shot there from the top of the box. But he wasn't able to finish that idea as it has been met by Shopify. We will clear the zone. Delta's backwards, but still got it out to where Alrez can field it. This one into the corner as well. And although memory chips at the center, you know very well that there was nobody from Boulevard there. And Alrez just having to make a save here with 42 seconds left just to keep it in a place where it's even possible to come back at this point. Yeah, and unfortunately, the ball control from Shopify have been so good. DPS with an opportunity with two respawning players, but no, can't push it through. Alraz now just trying to get a pass over to Delta. It's a little bit wide left. Two piece there anyway. Another attack from Alraz, a pass to the corner of center. And really, I mean, every touch from Boulevard at this point needs to be a goal. And I think they've just run out of time. Shopify Rebellion playing this game number five so, so well. And honestly, game number four to get them back in the series as well. What a way to finish from the Rebellion. They... We're on a mission since game three. They came alive and they did not let up until the job was done. And for Boulevard, yet another moment where they're ever so close to a place where they can put their name in the hat for RLCS stability. This is a strong team in Shopify Rebellion. I thought they did a great job to challenge this team, bring them the five, but after all, it will be Shopify who wins the series in five. So two-piece again coming through, adding even more additions to this Shopify Rebellion squad who's been excellent, I mean, from the get-go, right? They're the ones with the RLCS experience. You expect them to come in, and a lot of their fans expect them to come in and sweep. But if you're here at watching Boulevard, or if you're Boulevard right now on the pitch losing in Game 5, feels bad, but at the same time, you can at least hold your head high knowing that this team has got that ability they got that dog in them but they just couldn't quite finish out in this series specifically uh to uh, advance to the next round but shopify rebellion will be in the money and they'll also be in the semifinals it'll be the i believe the last draw here as well of the night because of course the finals you can't really draw into that right but uh props to them for making it that far yeah i mean fantastic job boulevard they've got a special factor about them that they showed in games one and three but just weren't able to quite close it out games four and five, right? I mean, the, the Shopify Rebellion, they weathered them down with a constant assault on the net and their physicality really is what pulled them ahead of uh, the, the Boulevard team.